Listen, faggots, I was just thinking about it, and I realized my graphics card probably isn't working rendering most games and why it's having so many issues because it's kind of too future forward because I have a really good monk fruit processing sugar system, and it's just purple. That's just what I'm running. I'm running purple on purple on purple. My screen is also purple. It's QLED. It's just gas. So, uh, like, I need there to be a driver because game engine people they're fuck faces they don't want to support this natively so i need it to actually for once there needs to be a driver that densifies the color from a my 8k card down to various colors because then the games will run right it may oversaturate yeah. some of them to the point where i can't even fucking look at them they're so ugly but at least then i'll be able to run them well, the oversaturization, you think you could, if you're going to build it anyways to do it, then you think you'd have parameters where you could tone it down, obviously, if it's too oversaturated because it's like erroring or something. Yeah, and here's the problem, though. Um, I'm just hoping because there's so much color data of 8K down to most games which are 2K on the screen. I mean, I, there's no reason I'd run them on 4 if it's, it doesn't even support it. Most games block it. Yeah, most like, games aren't really 4K. The, well, they're they, 2K progressive. I just mean they block the signal if you don't even have the monitor oh. to even go above whatever your monitor's definition is, which personally I find despicable. That also needs software update. Alongside this, there also needs to be an update for a higher definition graphics cards that spoof that system because I need to be running it in at least 4K to be having the power of my 8K graphics card now that I think about it. And that's half the problem right there, well, if not the all problem. of it. Scaling of the game. You know how games supposedly scale, but they're only acting like it works for NVIDIA. Scaling would mean that it's rendering in a 4K, then it's a 2K screen, so it's squeezing that energy down and mixing it into the 2K screen, which can easily handle. It's 144 hertz. It's got like 140% Adobe RGB or something. It can handle 4K, squeeze down to 2K, like every game says it does, but just doesn't deliver. So maybe if AMD could deliver on their end with drivers that did that. Because there's like this stupid $100 device you're supposed to plug into your back of your Switch. And it's supposed to like it densify and enrich the colors with little color chips in this device. And it goes through the HDMI the rest of the way to your screen. And that seems stupid. Like, in fact, television screens should have game boost technology that, like, built right in. Like, our living room screen sort of does it a little bit just because it's made out of hot metal that's rendering everything. We need to actually... In, screens too to just support games what they're rendering in and intensify the colors that's all i don't know my point here is this i'm sick of having you know for example i tried to do this this super pets video you see here and it was running at not the correct frame rate at all obs wasn't doing what yeah. it was supposed to because none of the the graphics card is being engaged and that doesn't help me. That that makes it more difficult for me to do my job. And the the richness, it's like look how washed out the um, buildings are. There should be like a deep like glow instead of like a shiny facade on the surface that's barely there. Like all I'm saying is, it's not rendering correctly. I know the movie had a sort of feeling like as though there it was. The color was a little bit limited, but the video game needs to have a rich color mode. Every game, not... I don't know. Well, I'm saying everyone needs to think about this on every level, though. My point here is this, that aside from anything, if you come from a perspective of massive power, which they don't, of, yeah. of computing on down, analog, directly just, just straight energy of different types... Anybody could do it. You just take gemstones. You take sand. You take anything. You take yeah, powdered being a jeweler. to powdered shit. You put it together. You make a chip. So like, yeah, the concept here is I can actually run the amount of electricity through my body that would be required to run the graphics card to run the game. Whereas any other buddy else who's like running the energy through one hand out the other, no matter how they had it grabbing whatever surface of something. 
It would just cook their flesh. It would just burn them to a crisp. Just, just be incinerated. Whereas I could actually do that. So that's why I'm saying I'm actually made out of gemstones. Yeah, it's called eating food <laughs> grown in good soil. Yeah. That's it. That's all. You could grind up gemstones and go into the soil yeah. and then you could grow stuff in it. You and you could mix gemstones. There's some idiots who put a tiny bit of quartz or a bunch into like carrots. You have to do different gems of all kinds. It's so complex. That's, you, be, you better just get all of them and make yeah. a gem powder mix and just put that in the soil. Yeah, then you'd have the equivalent of what the soil like around here is. Yeah. So, yeah, when they compute, when they build computing like they're investing a bunch in the micron, 80 million, billion, trillion, who gives a crap, Um, they just scoop up the sand and they process it down because the micro... They process it right here in yeah, Emmett. They process it in Emmett. They ship it over there to the other valley... Everything, all your electronics that are high end are made here while I get nothing. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't seem right. And they act like as if they still can't run them as if they're too powerful. And I keep making fun of them by saying, do yeah. I need to send you sand in a box? So yeah. I repeat, do I need to send you sand in a box? This is the equivalency with this conversation right here. Do I need to send you sand in a box, a.k.a. do you need to give me the platinum renders that you've done? Yeah. Anybody. Then I'll put in all the colors. Yeah, Even right. the platinum, all you know, like you mark it for platinum. However, you do that with video files. I don't have all that shit. Yeah. You mark it has all the key markers. Then my computer takes it. It puts the platinum for the power supply into it. It puts the purple and densifies it yeah. into whatever colors. And they're incredibly dense because they're still the definition of the 3D character models is like yeah. not very high. So then the colors can be really dense. Because for like super pets, it'd be nice with all of my computing power prowess. I'm trying to get going here. Additionally, in the basement, we can try that out if we get it running. Then, like, it's kind of like my baby project because it's what makes people suffer the most while they watch it, and that amuses me. So, like, I need richer colors, so I need to be able to get what everyone's made to me, download it off the internet, especially with Super Pets 2, and I can just do the combo 1-2 movie at the same time, render them out with hyper-color, you know, exaggerative you know, type feel and then i can blow people away so that visually their eyes are hurting as much as their emotions and that's what's missing still yeah i, I agree definitely and i guess this came around to me playing the video game um the audio balance was also off because uh obs needs to be fixed side note in and of itself because i turned on audio ducking and the audio ducking is doing the exact opposite as ducking my voice in comparison to the game fuck you ryan reynolds for making fun of me uh, yeah. The end. Yeah, he did make fun of you pretty hard, just because. Just because this, I had a technical error. Yeah, that wasn't our fault. The the software did it backwards because we're going the right time space. Th we're flowing through time forward, and everyone else is going backwards. So they made the software for backwards flow, so it worked backwards for us. Just like when we're doing most of our edits in in um. Platinum Vegas uh, movie studio. It's all backwards. You have to do everything backwards. Uh, that name is so exhaustive because it started out as <laughs> Magix and then it turned into, if you really wanted to say the, the original name on top of it, it's Magix movie studio Platinum 13 home edition. But there used to be, there's no Vegas in there. Oh yeah, you're right. You gotta put Vegas in there too. Sony just claimed that they owned it oh, yeah. because they supposedly purchased the rights well, to it for a little fun. while. When people keep tack tacking on their company names, you can just kind of make the title so long that everybody realizes that it's bullshit. And, and that it's obviously connected. just an old program yeah. from like the early 1990s that everybody has been upgraded. Everybody wants to have a piece of the pie of claiming they're geniuses. Yeah. 